In 2006, the Nerf Longshot CS6 was released and became the world's longest Nerf blaster at 36 inches long. In 2010, the Nerf Longstrike CS6 was released and became the world's longest Nerf blaster at 39.5 inches long. In 2013, the Nerf Centurion was released and became the world's longest Nerf blaster at 40.7 inches long. But now, in 2018, the Nerf Thunderhawk is here to claim the title of world's longest Nerf blaster at 104 centimeters or 40.95 inches long. Wait, seriously? That's like not even 0.3 inches longer. What's the point of that? Pfft. Real impressive. Hello everyone, my name is Brett, and sometimes I wear a beret. And that's right, the Nerf Mega Thunder Hawk is here, and it is really hard to fit it in frame. The box actually is not too big. You've probably seen reviews on this already, but I wanted to share some quick opinions on it, because I've been actually really excited for this blaster because it's unique. The box is the box. Let's get it out. It's already out. And here it is, the Mega Thunder Hawk, painted on one side only. You know what? It is thin. Did not expect that. Prime is super short. This is... This, this is, this, this is why. Why? Why? Oh my gosh. Yeah, it works. You can... get it back in on its own too, but it stays out decently enough. The bipod is a bit of an awkward spot. Um, the thumb hole is decent for me. The performance, well, here's our clip harmonica mag. I don't care. It has our 10 mega accufakes loaded from this way, and now it's locked into place. That's right, as a lot of people have said, you cannot take this out once it's at that inserted stage, which means it's going to be really hard to have to take This comes out, guys. This clip is removable, and I didn't modify this at all. So what happens when you put it in, doesn't matter which direction you insert this clip, if you bring it all the way to the left, since it feeds to the right, no, there's no way this is coming out. There are notches underneath that prevent it from being pulled out when it's empty, right here. But if you give it a little bit of room, and you just slowly pull out the direction it naturally feeds, it comes right out. And I only just figured that out. I did not modify this. That's how it is. Now you know. I should read the instructions. Maybe it said that. Oh yeah, the range sucks. As everyone knows, the internals of this are just not super robust. It might do a little bit more with some modification, but as it stands right now, the mega accufakes, accu strike. So used to saying accu fakes. These are, I mean, the root cause of it. With accu, uh, gosh darn. With regular mega darts, I think this performs a little bit better. But I think the Centurion actually had a little bit more range, so you can take that for what it's worth. I might look to modifying this a little bit, but I definitely want to field this as is in a game, just to see how ridiculous it can be. I'm assuming that we will never see a replacement clip for these. I would hope that we would see replacement ammo for this, but I do have my other Accu fake Megas, whatever you want to call them, and we'll have to test and see what kind of performance those get compared to the regular darts. This is the Thunderhawk for 50 bucks. Gosh, this thing is quite interesting. I picked mine up for the uh, sum of whatever 25% off of 50 is, because math's hard in the moment. But I picked this up when they were on sale at Target, just like everything was on sale at Target for 25% off. And while everyone was buying a Prometheus or an Infinis, I, I bought a Thunderhawk.
because I can. So anyhow, just some quick thoughts on this. You will definitely see this more on my channel in the future. I think we're going to see some great integrations with this blaster, uh, especially when it starts going on sale. Gosh, that is just... Oh, gosh, what were they thinking? Oh, Hasbro. <laughs> Thank you, everyone, for watching. I'll see you later. Bam.